Hey guys, thank you for selecting this video. Here I will teach you how to render HD videos for the HD button to appear when you upload them to YouTube uh, with Camtasia Studio. This works with any Camtasia. I use the 6, you can use any, it's all the same. The first and most important thing you have to do is here, right click on your desktop, click on properties and when that opens go to configurations then when you see here you see this number mine is 1152 by 864 well remember that number okay you guys are just gonna have to remember that so just close it and now open your Camtasia and import media it's gonna ask you to import I'm gonna get my test video okay so once that opens it's gonna be here just drag it to the timeline and release okay now this pop-up is gonna appear here's where you're gonna have to write down the numbers that you had to remember so mine was 1152 by 864 I had already forgotten that so 864 and this is the main thing you have to do leave the presets on custom and put in the number you saw in your properties part of this video click OK then you guys can do everything you want the zooming and panning putting all the effects and stuff if you don't know how to do that I've got some videos on my channel you could check out and I'll be making more videos but for now I'm gonna teach you how to get the HD thing right so now I want you guys to click produce video as okay here you're gonna produce it as custom production settings leave the dimensions by your number and just next then here this is a really weird thing I just found out that I use Windows Media Video WMV and it works the same as using MOV lots of people say that MOV is higher quality but actually for me it's the same or maybe even better so I, I just leave it at WMV because it renders faster then click next then here you just next when this appears you leave it as custom size with 11 with your number here with mine is 1152 and 864 maintain aspect ratio leave the background color however it is black then click next you can either include a watermark or not I always include my watermark like down here as you can see now um, so when you chose that you just click next and next and then you just render it test video and you just click render and well that's it after you I'm just gonna close it cuz I don't wanna do it so after you've you've rendered your video you w once you upload it to YouTube depending on the length it'll take kind of long for it for the HD option to show after the video has ended processing so but don't worry it'll go it'll go if you check my videos from now on are all HD and stuff you can check this one out it's also in HD uh, if you like this background, there are a whole lot of cool backgrounds like these at www.shurik.com. Thank you for that. Uh, be sure to check out my videos. And oh, yeah, click on this annotation up here because uh, this is my new channel I'm doing. Because at the end of September, I'm getting a MacBook Pro and I'll start doing tutorials on that. Don't worry, guys, I will not stop doing these tutorials, it'll be the same. I won't make them less often but it'll it'll just be the same I'll just have to work harder to make you guys happy okay <laughs> so that's it thanks for watching comment rate subscribe if you think I deserve it and ciao oh yeah guys and one, one more thing see this theme over here do not ask me about it because I have no idea what it is I was just going through my computer and I just saw something and I just clicked it and this happened so I'll try to find out <laughs> what it is then I'll make a video on it if I manage to find out so make sure you subscribe if you liked it cuz if I find out what it is I'll p post a video 
So thanks again. Bye.